The electric eel is a South American electric fish, which can grow up to 8 feet long and weigh more than 44 pounds. The body of electric eels contain electric organs with about 6,000 specialized cells called electrolytes that store power like tiny batteries. If an electric eel feels threatened or while attacking the prey, all of the cells discharge the current simultaneously. Human deaths from electric eels are extremely rare, but that doesn't mean eels are harmless. An electric eel can produce more than 600 volts and multiple shocks can cause respiratory and even heart failure. People have been known to drown in shallow water after a stunning jolt. But a big question remains. Why an electric eel doesn't shock itself? But before that, let me tell you about an amazing video game called Raid Shadow Legends. Ever since its introduction, Raid has changed the gaming experience with everything you'd expect from an RPG game. It has an interesting storyline, 3D graphics, and competitive boss fights. You get a chance to develop your champions and then test their strengths in the fight. Raid has a massive player base with millions of daily players. One of my favorite features of this game is that you can create your own clan and play with the other. Recently, Raid has released their biggest update. The main event here is the Doom Tower with 120 floors, secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously badass bosses to take on. Just click the link at the top of the description and get a bunch of new free Void Champion Bulwark 50 gems and XP booster, some energy refills, and even an ancient shard. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. These rewards will be available for only the next 30 days for new players. So hurry up! Raid is available on both mobile and desktop devices. Choose your favorite character and start playing now. Most of the electric eel's body is just tail and their vital organs, including the heart and brain, are located in a very small region anterior to their tail. While releasing the electric current, an electric eel bend, twist, and otherwise orient themselves so the electric current does not pass through their vital organs. Electric current takes the shortest possible path along a potential gradient. The potential gradient for the electric eel lies between the anterior of their tail, which is positive, and the posterior part of their tail, which is negative. Electric current flows from the anterior part of the tail to the posterior part of their tail. If the electric current passes through an electric eel's heart or brain, the electric eel dies. So they twist around so these organs are not in between the positive and negative sides of the tail. For a more intense zap, eel will bend in a U-shaped configuration, but still keeping the vital organs out of the electric current zone. So I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.